Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm gonna go over uh, the left hand exercise that we did in the previous video or in the previous class in brief. And then also uh, gonna give you additional exercise and um, like how to figure out certain notes on the fourth string, okay? And uh, I'm gonna show you another chord. And then again, guys, please practice at home, okay? go over uh, the left hand exercise is stretching uh, I had showed you this one before Basically what I did was I went from top to the bottom, right? Uh, but let me go very slow. You just do it very slow, okay? You don't have to rush right now. So basically you uh, play the open string. Okay, that's E. By now you should know the notes, okay? For the sixth string. That's E, F, F sharp, G. Try to say it loud also, the notes when you're pressing the strings. And then remember the uh, fingers, they are, don't take it off after you press that fret. F sharp, G, the next one. Do it very slow, okay? So you go all the way down, this ring finger for the first string. Okay. So now we need to go uh, move up. Okay, backwards now. Let's say you are here. Okay, that's the end. Now you go back. slowly so do one fret at a time okay here you don't need to uh, keep the fingers down because you, you are moving back all right so like this first this is G okay then press the next one you don't have to keep the fingers like this okay because we're going back then the first finger then open. Now next string up. Okay, like that, you go all the way up. G, F sub or G flat. F, E, all right? So you keep practicing that, okay? So next, I'm gonna show you how to figure out the notes on the fourth string. Now, in the last video, I showed you, um, I asked you to find, um, I showed you how to find a particular note on the fourth string based off the sixth string, right? If you wanted to find a G note on the fourth string, you would first find where the G on the sixth string is, all right? So that is G, right? So you go two strings down, two frets to the right. So that would be G on the fourth string. Or you could go two frets to the right and two strings down. That would be G. Now, how about if I press uh, on the third fret of the fourth string, like here, and if I ask you what note is that, then how would you figure it out? So basically use the same pattern 
the 2-2, two, two, but in reverse. You'd go two frets to the left, two strings up, and you already know that's F. So this is also F. So the third fret of the fourth string is F. Okay? So that's one pattern. The other way was is to go like this. Two strings up, two frets to the left. Same thing. Okay? Whatever you want to go, whichever you, the way you want to go, that's fine. You want to go two frets to the left and two strings up or two strings up, two frets left. Okay? So now the exercise will be, you know, challenge yourself, you know, um, like you go to, let's say, sixth fret, okay, of fourth string and try to see what note is that. All right, so do that at home. Another tip to memorize or to remember the notes, especially for the sixth string, okay, and the first string. First string and the sixth string, they have the same notes. Remember I told you about the uh, where these markers are, these fret markers? Usually they are on the third, fifth, seventh, ninth, and so on. So basically you have to see, remember, th those are like odd numbers, right? Fifth, seventh, with the exception of 12th fret. So you just remember like this, uh, one, three, five, seven, nine. One means the first fret, that's F. Third fret, that's G. Fifth fret, that's A. Seventh fret is B. Now there's an exception here. Eighth fret is C, because there's no gap between B and C, right? So let's see, all right? So the next will be another chord that I'm gonna show you. In the first video, I showed you uh, E minor, like this. In the second video, I showed you A major, okay? Now I'm gonna show you this A, right? Now, take out your pinky, okay? Don't do anything else, just follow me here. Remove this pinky like this, okay? And this index finger, Put on the sec uh, first fret of the second string, like this, and then play. That is A minor. Start with the this A string, okay? Just a slightly. That's A minor. And if you want to move further, you could try all three chords. E minor. A major, A minor. Okay, that's it, folks. In this for this uh, uh, lesson, um, everything is explained uh, with the timestamp uh, in the description of this video below. So keep playing, play some guitar. Thank you. Bye.